Let's talk about grouping in capacities. Grouping allows you to view your objects in distinct groups based on the properties that they have. So in my book object type, I have applied a group for the reading status and that has given me three distinct groups. First is everything to read, the next is reading, and next are the things that I have read. I set that up simply by going over to this group by button, which has been added to the buttons on the right hand side, and I chose what I wanted to group by. Here you can see all of the different options that you have for your personal setup when it comes to grouping. You can also apply groups in your queries. So this is my reading list query and you can see that it has two groups. And if I show you the setup here, you can see that I've taken all of my books. I'm filtering them just for the ones that I have to read and I'm grouping them by fiction. And the way that I do that is just by clicking this group by button and you choose your group from here. You can also see both here in the query and here in your object types that you have the option to sort your groups. There's default, ascending, descending and manual. If you want to rearrange your groups yourself, that's what manual is for. And once you've clicked manual in that setting, come over to this slider icon on the right hand side and you can click and drag your groups around to rearrange them. From here, you can also choose to show or hide groups. So let's say I wanted to hide everything I have read I now just have two groups and if I want to then show that group again, I can click on the I or show all groups. Now, there are two property types that give you a little bit more control over how you want to present them. The first is date properties and I'll show you with this query here, which is about all the books that I have read this year. And what I've done is I have grouped them by the date that I finished them on. This is just a date property in my book type. And you can see that instead of just having the property choice and the sorting option, I also have this button, which allows me to choose the granularity of the groups. I chose by month because I think that makes sense in this context, but something like week or day might be really helpful for if you've got lots of meeting notes, for example. But every time you want to group by a date, you will see this extra box. Similarly, if you want to group by a number property, you can group by their exact value or by a range. And when you do that, you can configure it to your liking as well. Now, just like filtering and sorting, the options that you have for grouping and capacities completely depends on your setup. It looks at your object types and your properties and you can group based on those properties. Everything I've shown you so far just looks at one object type, but you can actually do some cool grouping with multiple object types. This is a demo weekly review and in it I have a query that looks for all meetings and ideas that were created during this week. I've also applied one group where I want to view my meetings by whether or not they have been reviewed. And um, because I've chosen the embed view, which is from here, I can see everything right in this weekly review, which is very helpful. But because I've combined two object types and only applied one grouping, I end up with three groups where I have meetings that have been reviewed, meetings that have not been reviewed, and then my idea just floating at the bottom. But in the same way that my meeting type has a review checkbox, my idea type does as well. And what you can do with grouping in this instance is group by similar property. So if I click group, it's automatically going to find that checkbox property in the idea object type. And now it's collapsed those groups into just two. So now I have everything checked in one group and everything unchecked in the second. And as soon as I click review there, it's updated. So in terms of my review process, this grouping is really helpful. So that is a look at the grouping functionality in capacities. If you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments below.